السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم Welcome dear brothers and sisters in Islam to another episode of Talaqiyya and Tadabur with myself Abdullah Hussein from Masjid Kampong Siglab Insha'Allah today we are reciting a new surah uh, Surah Al-An'am the sixth chapter of the Quran and uh, let us first begin with uh, Al-Fatiha أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الحمد لله uh, So uh, today إن شاء الله we are reciting a new surah The sixth chapter of the Quran And if you've been with us uh, on this journey from the beginning We've recited Al-Fatiha and then Al-Baqarah, Al-Imran, Al-Nisa, Al-Ma'idah And now we add the sixth surah, uh, Surah Al-An'am Al-An'am means the kettle uh, So inshallah today we are reciting uh, from verse 1 all the way up to verse 8 And the page in your Mus'haf, if you are following in your Mus'haf, it is page 128 uh, so let us begin our recitation with isti'adha in with basmala. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi alladhi khalaqa samawati wal arda wa ja'ala al-zulumati wal nur. الذين كفروا بربهم يعدلون هو الذي خلقكم من طين ثم قضى أجلا وأجل مسمى عنده ثم ما أنتم تمترون وهو الله في السماوات وفي الأرض يعلم سركم وجهركم ويعلم ما تكسبون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين فقد كذبوا بالحق لما جاءهم فسوف يأتيهم أنباء ما كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا من قبلهم من قرن مكناهم في الأرض مكناهم في الأرض ما لم نمكن لكم وأرسلنا السماء عليهم مدرارا وجعلنا الأنهار تجري من تحتهم فأهلكناهم 
بذنوبهم فأهلكناهم بذنوبهم وأنشأنا من بعدهم قرنا آخرين ولو نزلنا عليك كتابا في قرطاس فلمسوه بأيديهم لقال الذين كفروا إن هذا إلا سحر مبين وقالوا لولا عليه ملك ولو أنزلنا ملكا لقضي الأمر ثم لا ينظرون صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله we've just recited one page of the Quran and uh, let us look at the first ayah of Surah Al-An'am which begins with the praise of Allah so Alhamdulillah always begin with the praise of Allah uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us the etiquette of how to begin that is why uh, before doing anything important we always begin with praising Allah for example in the khutbah during the sermon uh, we always begin with Alhamdulillah. So we always begin Alhamdulillah. Likewise, when we're making dua, we first begin with the praise of Allah. Say Alhamdulillah and we thank Allah for all that He has given us first. So likewise, in the Quran also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also begins the Quran with the praise of Allah. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, the first verse of the Quran. So likewise, the surah also begins with Alhamdulillah. Allah says in this surah, Surah Al-An'am, first ayah, Alhamdulillah, alladhi khalaq as-samawati wal-ard. All praise is for Allah who created the heavens and the earth. Everything is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah goes on further, وَجَعَلَ الظُّلُمَاتِ وَالنُّورِ And he made darkness and he made light. ظُلُمَاتِ uh, النُّورِ uh, So firstly, there are some things which uh, we cannot understand. Uh, for example, if we ask that what is, uh, what is darkness, people would say that darkness is the absence of light. But what was there before? There was light and before there was darkness, there was nothing. Yes, that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And Allah says, وَجَعَلَ الظُّلُمَاتِ That is Allah who created darkness and Allah who created light. Uh, another thing in this ayah, Allah mentions ظُلُمَاتِ uh, which is darkness. Allah mentions it in the plural form. And Allah mentions nur, which is light in the singular form. This is because there are many different forms of darkness, uh, there's kufr, there's shirk, there's hypocrisy, all these are forms of darkness. But for nur, as for nur, as for light, there's only one, one single light, and that is sirat al-mustaqim, the straight path. There's only one straight path, and uh, from the away, going away from the straight path, there are many other paths, and only the straight path, sirat al-mustaqim, is the path of nur the path of guidance, the path of hidayah, and the rest, the other paths, are all paths of darknesses. Then Allah says, ثُمَّ Yet those who disbelieve hold others as equal to Allah. The word thumma here, thumma is used uh, in Arabic to, 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 to express amazement or to, to express disgust and to express uh, to express shock so Allah is saying that on the one hand you have the creator the one who created everything the heavens the skies the earth and whatever it contains and then on the other hand you have people who still 
uh, equate other deities as equal to the, the creator of the heavens and earth. This is something which definitely does not make sense. Uh, and we know the reports of the Sahaba, some of them were, used, to, used to be amused at the shirk after accepting Islam and they used to say and make comments like uh, how foolish we were at that time that we, we would make our idols and would worship them ourselves. And uh, another one of the narrations of one of the Sahaba, he said uh, he used to laugh at the, the times of Jahiliya and say that at that time we would make, when going on a journey, we would make idols uh, in the form of bread. Uh, and then we would worship those idols. So they worship the idols, they're worshiping the bread. And then uh, when we are hungry, we eat the idols. So this word, ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ يَعْدِلُونَ Yet those who make kufr, those who ascribe partners to Allah, those who disbelieve, they equate others as equal to Allah. Yes, there can be none that is equal to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Glory be to Allah, or praise be to Allah, and there is none worthy of worship besides Allah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm on our iman. Until next time, fi amanillah, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.